Hey, what's up everybody? Name is Dirgefang, and today I'm bringing you another Ubuntu tutorial. This is a small installation and preview of the program Wine. What Wine allows you to do is use some Windows programs on the Ubuntu operating system. So, skipping all the history and the current information about it, I'm just going to get right into the installation. First thing you want to do is go into the Ubuntu Software Center. And the thing you want to type in is just plain old wine. And you'll see this wine windows program loader. I'm going to click on that. Click install. Type in your password. And it will begin to install. I'm not really sure how long this will take, so I'll probably be skipping forward. But, uh, yeah. I'll just wait until this is done. Alright, Wine just got done installing a little bit ago. I just tested a little bit to see if it works. Just ignore this Steam logo on uh, my desktop. I'm going to show you two different ways that you could get to Wine. First is by going to Dash Home. You could type in Wine. Click on Configure Wine. This is um, the basic Wine interface. I'll X out that. Go to Terminal. You could type in Wine CFG, and there you go. There's the same window, but um, yeah, I guess I'll explain a little bit of the default interface. Um, applications shows you some of the applications that you installed. Um, say if I were to click on Add Applications, it shows you a fake C drive. So say if I were to go to Program Files, as you can see, there's Steam there. Since I installed Steam a little bit ago. I'll just X out of that, go to Libraries, there's DLLs. I'll probably be explaining this in the future tutorial, because this is a little bit more advanced, not that much. Um, graphics, some stuff that you can play around with, it's not really worth explaining. Um, desktop integration shows you some of the different uh, paths that are available to you for uh, videos, music, all that stuff. About shows you a basic explanation about Wine. Um, drives, it shows you the different drives that are available to you. Um, there's my fake C drive. Um, audio shows some other stuff that you play around with. It. It's not really worth explaining. Um, anyways, I'll cancel out of that. Um, as you can see, I did install Steam. And I'll, eh, hell, might as well show you. You go to your web browser. You could type in Steam. Go to their homepage, click install, install now, and as you can see, it automatically clicks on open with Wine Windows Program Loader. You can click OK, it downloads, and it brings you to the install page. Um, you click next, 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 whatever, it'll install. But I already did that, so I'll skip that step. I'll get out of all this. I'm failing right now at doing this, but uh. There we go. Alright. Um, I'll exit setup. I'll double click on Steam. And that's my account name. You could click on your pat. Well, eh. Since I'm an example sort of person, I'll show you. Well, their security system is stopping me right now. I don't feel like going to my um, email and Again, the access code, but trust me when I say this, it'll basically bring you to a page that's just like Steam. You can install the games, look at their store, go to your community, all that good stuff. And, uh, gosh, I was going to tell you something. Um, oh, yes. Um, you could go into your web browser. Also, look up Wine Compat. I'm an IT major, so I cannot really spell all that correctly, but, uh, programs and this will basically give you a good well, really well listed database of games and programs that work really well with wine I'll be posting this address in the description so um if you like the video feel free to like it and subscribe to me and I'll see you guys later